and we're out with the Lake District hiking expert Christine. I'm the hiking expert in uh, Scotland because I've done many more than she has. <laughs> so I'm about to take her into the bushes. Oh, that's what she'll think. Uh, we're just going to go up to an obscure path as we go up the, uh, the nose of Ben Nani. This is the, uh, the path into the bushes that I'm going to be taking Christine up. Uh, she's saying that she just said she's not going up here with me, but well. After you go through those bushes, it sort of takes you up onto a, uh, a path. There's got lots of stones on there, so it's not easy. It's easy to follow. Uh, the weather's looking good. So it looks as though I'm getting lucky again. So eventually our path meets back a main drag. We just come from back there. And we're gonna get it up here. It doesn't look like a path, but it is. Just looking back the way we've come. At the core of the way up, using tarry car, a lot longer opening up. Some nice weather today, should have clear tops. Blue bells are looking lovely here today. About a third of the way up now. Use all the lot longer opening up. Very really nice. See two spokes on the lock. Bluebells here, almost. It's good. That's probably better than Randale Valley because there's not loads of people milling around. But yeah, the bluebells are in full bloom here. Yeah. She can still make her way up. Stop stopping for the views. We're almost halfway up the Nani. A couple are coming into view now. Views of a lot longer. Break for a banana. Okay, we're taking the views are absolutely stunning today. Very clear, no waves. Beautiful. We've stopped for our banana stop and photo stop. There's the uh, see clouds. Apparently that's called Lighthouse Hill. I don't know if you can see it on my GoPro in the distance. Cobbler's looking sweet with the sun shining and quite in the shadows. We carry on up Ben Narnin. Christine do a scrambling. There's a bit more scrambling near the top.
it's just had a fall to stop. You know, Chris seen lots of breaks. So we'll carry on now. Yeah. I'd have carried on regardless, yeah. <laughs> I think we're too far from the top now. I know there's a bit of scrambling to do near the top. Long end. Very bad long end behind it. So we look as though we've got to do a bit more scrambling, shall we? A bit of scrambling now. I think we did this last August. Uh, the clack was down in this, this at this point. So these are all new views to me. It's a really nice day today, really clear. So I'm really enjoying my day out. I think I had these views last year, you can see a lot of Arklet. Climb this bit here, I think just over that ridge there is the top of our first summit. Then, no, I just up Christy, scrambling up right up the face of that, I lied to her, you can see, <laughs> I saw her face drop and I saw her, you can see the uh, path going around the side, it's not that difficult. Let's do it. I'll see. You can see our path down later. A couple of just we so make our way up the side of this climb. Yeah, final We're scrambling now to the top. Scrambling and on the plateau at the top. Come a long way. Done quite a bit of climbing today. I don't think any of these one rolls so easy. Just need a cobbler. Great day though. Not far now. Views today. Super views today. Beautiful. You can see for absolute miles. Beautiful. Make a last push. It's not very far to go now. Fantastic views all around. So beautiful. Bit of an overhanging rock here. Time to uh, fall on top of me today. Can't stop taking the views in. There's a second in while I'm here. Might never be back up here again. You never know what the future holds. Very, very close to the top now, though. So this uh, this climb has been added in yesterday. Then Volik. Small scrambling for sure. So there's some steep bits, but now it's in the uh, plateau at the top. It's the last bit of climbing done now. And uh, 
see the cairn any second now. to leave Ben Nani and uh, make our way to Ben Hima which is just over yonder it's like a little bit higher up than Nani it's a thousand and eleven meters uh, it's gonna be a fresh moon roll for me coming off the slopes of Nani now see over to the cobbler we're uh, heading north to Pima, just over yonder. Coming down the grassy slopes of uh, Nanin, we run up to Ema, which is just there in the uh, shadow of the clouds. It's quite windy, I've got our windproof gear on now, a bit chilly. It's quite warm, warm on the way up, sure. Then we're coming off once we start climbing. Yeah. Found some nice stairs to go down now, makes it a lot easier. Easy going up Ema, nice path. It's, doesn't even feel that hilly it's, uh, in comparison to Nani. into Loch Arkle and Loch Catherine and Lund and then Cobble Loch Blanc, Clyde Very good views I think we've still got another 10 minutes of climbing over the top of Ben Hewey
It's our second row done today. And now we're going to try and go to the cobbler. Weather's still good, the views are still good. Wind's up a bit now. Yeah. Still good to use, and the rain seems to have held off for now. Back to the car park. So, in super views, and the rain did hold off and it's brightened up again, but the wind is still pretty fresh. Looking back at the colour silhouette against the uh, light sky, uh, second rum roll has now got cloud covering on the top. We might get back to the car before the ticket people come round and book us, but I think it's free after six anyway. Just going through a bit of a bog. Now we've got some more climbing to do, but it only looks like Lake District climbing and not Mumro climbing. So we should be able to get up there no problem without uh, breathing too heavy. We've got a rainbow. I don't know if we can pick it up on this camera. It's a rainbow. Bit of rain around now. So oh, I really like the rainbows there. <laughs> Fabulous for use most of the day. Even the view into Lot Long is looking a bit like ordinary now, which because we've had the view all day, but it's been fantastic views on this walk. Yeah, so I'll use my battery up for the footage while we can, because there might never be on this particular hill again in your life. But you never know. I we say go out as though it might be your last time on any of them. You never know what's around the corner. I 
area soon. Looking back on the dam and the cobbler we would just come down from. We're almost now on the main drag back to the car park. All the hazards cleared for the day. See the bluebells here as well. We're now on the path dropping into the woody area. Onto the zigzags and it's the home stretch. Dropping out the woods now. Last little bit. You can see where we went up this morning. Uh, we've done Ben Narnin, Ben Jaime. I can't even remember how to pronounce it now. Uh, I'm quite tired. My legs are tired. And it's just short 12 miles with. 5,800 feet of ascent, so it's been quite an epic day. We are back at the car park with two Munro's, Ben Narnin, Ben Himi, and the cobbler, Aiki, or Ben Arthur. Uh, just short 12 miles. Car park's a lot emptier than when we arrived. So here we are.